Shelley's has won all the big awards when it comes to cupcakes and baked goods, and now they are bringing their famous Brooklyn Bakery right here to the studio to show you how to make some amazing Thanksgiving desserts. Allison Robicelli, good to have you with hey, us. Thanks for having me. So, uh, we're actually, today we're going to be making some butternut spice cupcakes, and since they have oh, squash in them, it's healthy. That's great, but before we do that, we're actually going to candy. So what are these? Pumpkin seeds, or you can oh. call them pepitas if you want to be fancy and show off all your cooking knowledge in front of I your do. nose. This is the easiest thing in the world to make. Um, I'll make a ton of these for snacking. Okay. Uh, I think they, these probably have protein in them. They look like they have protein in them. Sure, so they're probably nuts, good right? for you. Seeds. Um, yeah, so all we're doing right here is we're melting some butter and throwing in some brown sugar, and I'm just stirring it till it melts. And this is um, it's good for snacking. I can also keep a jar of this, and I'll throw it on some ice cream with like some pumpkin butter you buy at the store. And like do it as a topping of sorts. Well, yeah. I mean, you use it. I use it for a topping for the cupcake, but you could use this on its own. Um, like sometimes you're having Thanksgiving dinner, and like two or three people are showing up, and you don't want to invest in like a whole pie. So I'll like deconstruct it and do some ice cream with the, some of these toppings. I'll take some of the cookies that I make in the book, crumble those over. There we go. Okay, so now we have. That. Some cooked sugar, and now we're just dumping in pumpkin really? seeds. Okay, and we have cayenne pepper. That's my little secret ingredient. Why the pepper? It gives you a little something like you're, you're eating it, you're like, oh, it's sweet, and well, here, there was the sweet, and here's the salty. And then there's this little bit of heat at the end, like, oh, what is that? And I love tempering a little bit of sweet with salty. Like, the more flavors and kind of things you have going, it wakes up your flavor palate. Um, you know, the way that we got all these great awards that you talked about was my husband, who's my business partner, and I, uh, we were both classically trained in like French technique and things like that. Yeah. And we take dessert very seriously. And a lot of the cupcakes we had were like too sweet or they weren't interesting or they looked like puppy dogs or they had sprinkles on them. <laughs> and they would, it just didn't taste like good dessert. And we made these like $10,000 wedding cakes and you'd eat them and your eyes would roll on the back of your head. I'm like, why can't you just take this big cake and, and make it small? Put I mean, it in that's, a cupcake. It, that's it. Right. So we just started doing the same stuff we did at restaurants. And you see you're going to start seeing this clump up now, and the sugar's going to start setting. It looks and like you got to keep it moving the whole time, just right? Just for a bit. And then we're really, honestly, taking this away and just going to let it cool. Just turn off the and heat and let it, it go. And okay. It just lets it go, and then it turns into this. That beautifulness, yes. Oh, oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, I'm wait, wrong. No, no. wait, 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 wait. It's my own recipe. I should have read my book. Available now. We're fine. Books are sold. Um, now good we're gonna, plug. That was very yeah, good. Yeah, I see. I'm really smooth at this. This is butternut squash seed oil. Okay. A lot of people haven't heard of this stuff. I've never heard of this. This is this olive is gonna oil. Change your what is I it told it? you, put it on your finger, lick it off. It tastes. It almost tastes like peanut butternut butter. Butternut squash oil. That's a specialty gig. Can, can I can I make it? this without this oil if I can't get the oil? You can without it. You can get a pumpkin seed oil or whatnot, but I really think this is worth it. Um, oh, wow. You know, people, you, you go to these uh, fancy food shops and you see these oils and you're like, oh, this is so nice. What do I do with this? And that's exactly what happened to me and my this husband. We tasted it. it. We're like, let's make a cupcake out of this, you know, so we can bake with it. You can make pancakes with it. And the flavor is so good. And it, they make this in upstate New York with um, runoff from the butternut squash seeds, the butternut squash factory. Yes, yes. And butternut so, squash, a lot so of people So now these, make after these sit for a while, we end up with these delicious yeah. little, and they're just all candied. They're candied. They're candied. You can mm. pop them in, you can eat them right now. I'm eating them right now. I would also think of putting them on top of a salad. Even. You can put them on top of a salad. So you good. can put them uh, in your yogurt. Uh, but this is butternut squash, and a lot of people don't think about baking with this. They think about it a lot as a savory dish. But yeah. I actually prefer this to pumpkin. Some people don't like pumpkin pie. Pumpkin has kind of like a muddy, funky flavor sometimes. Okay. This is a lot lighter. It's actually very, very sweet. So all you need to do, you can actually get these prepped. At you can the, get them pre-cubed at the store. Pre-cubed yeah. at the store. I, I don't see a store that doesn't have this. You can either steam it in the microwave, or you toss it in some oil and then just roast it till it's soft. And then puree it, and that's it. And that's how we start making these cakes. And it goes right in there. Okay, well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to decorate these, yeah? Yep, yep. I'm going to turn you into a frosting expert. I'm going to learn some high end frosting tips after the break. But